In this video, we'll go through a wheel throwing demo. At this point, I've already wedged up my clay to remove inconsistencies, and then I have two options. I can use an avocado or a sphere. Next, I'm gonna place the clay on the center of the wheel and give it two taps with my dry palm. That way I don't splash water everywhere. Next, I'll dip my hands into water. Using that water bucket, I'm adding water, remembering that if the clay becomes too dry, it'll create friction and pull the clay off the wheel. I'm checking for that skirt in this stage. That's how I know it's staying on the wheel. Next up, I need to center. I'm gonna go through two main moves when I center. I'm coning up and I'm coning down. So you just saw me do that with one hand. My non-dominant hand is pressing down and then my dominant hand is holding firm in the back. And you can see I'm pinching my elbow into my hip. I'm holding really steady. Once I've centered, next I need to open into this V shape. And depending on my dominant hand, I'm gonna open in that quadrant for myself. I'm a righty, so I'm opening in that bottom right quadrant at a 45 degree angle, and that's gonna create that V shape. Next, I'll create my bottom. So I'm setting the bottom now and if it's a flat piece, it's gonna have a flat bottom. Then I can start my pools. Remembering that that bottom is not going to change. I'm just simply pulling up the walls of the piece, but the bottom diameter is already set. You can see my inside hands and outside hands working together, my fingertips pushing towards each other, and I'm adding water as I go. Again, if I don't add water, I can create friction. I can pull that piece off center. Oops, if you make a mistake, you can cut off that uneven rim using your needle tool, slowing the wheel down, facing that needle tool away from you, doing a little pinchy, squishy move there on my rim to fix that up, and then I can shape it. So here you can see that I'm going to collar my piece in, adding water to my hands, and then I can also flare the rim out. Finally, I'll finish the piece by cutting off that skirt that we initially made in the beginning to stick it down to the wheel. You can see I'm using my wood modeling tool or my clay knife to remove that skirt. And then I'm using a sponge gently to take up water. I'll use a rib tool. I'm facing that rib away from me. I'm not holding it at a 90 degree angle. I'm pushing it kind of away from my body. Next up, after I've smoothed out everything else and removed my water, I can just smooth that rim of the piece. And in the video, you're seeing me smooth it with a little piece of plastic. People like chamois and all kinds of good stuff. Then I wire the piece off by holding the wire tight. I wipe my hands and I pick up my piece and place it on a board. I'm gonna cover that with an upside down bucket. 